In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a booking calendar for any kind of consultation services. So in, in this case, I'm using a credit repair website where my client have asked me to create a booking calendar for his consultation services. So the process will remain the same and we will be using a plugin called Fluent Booking. If you are interested in learning how you can create your own booking calendars for any kind of services, then without further ado, let's get started now. Before we actually jump into the video, have a look at my channel there I have a number of videos available related to WordPress website design and development and other different kind of content management system if you like this kind of content please be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video update if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section or you can reach me out using this whatsapp number here or you will find my email address here you can reach me out here so without further ado let's get started now so the first thing that you want to do is to log into the dashboard of your website Website. and here you can see I'm already logged in and you need this plugin this is called fluent bookings if I will go to the plugin section of my website you can see I have this fluent bookings pro activated here you will have to purchase the license of this plugin so here I'll click on this fluent booking once you will activate and install the plugin you will find it something like this first of all what you want to do is to click on this settings panel and once you will click on this settings panels make sure you change the admin email address here change the default country to your choice and then in here make sure you add a from name here it can be your website name or your client's name or your name it can be anything and then in here make sure you also add a from email address that is very required otherwise the emails in your mailbox will go as wordpress emails and that doesn't look professional so once you do that the next thing that you want to do is to click on this calendars and once you will click on this calendars you can see i don't have any calendars available just click on this new and here it will ask you add new host or add a new team so in this case I am going to use a new host so I'll click on add new host and here it will say select the host so in my case I only have this email available so this is coming from users area and your WordPress dashboard so here if I'll open this in a new tab here you can see I only have one user and he have this email address contact at powerside LLC and that is why this is showing here just select this email and this time I want to choose one to one you can also choose the group so I'm going to choose the one to one then after that it will ask you to to provide an event name so that can be title so uh, just add in the title so i'm going to call it as free consultation ccr and then you have to provide some description so i'm going to write some description here and i'll just paste in here then it will ask you for the duration of the meeting it can be 30 minutes meeting and for the location now it is asking how the meeting will happen so is it a in-person meeting or is it a phone call meeting or is it an online meeting so i'll choose just online meeting here and here you can see it is asking online meeting link so in the online meeting link what you can do is to go to your google meet so i'll go to this google meet right here you can use google meet you can use zoom or any other network i'll just show you how this works so from here just click on create a meeting link for later and then just copy this link from here and insert this link right here and then click on this update button and here it will get integrated then in here you have the option to select the time zone so i'm going to keep it as utc united states standard time zone and here it will ask you for the availability hour so in case of availability hour i'll go to the website and i'll go to the contact page because i just pasted in the availability hours here so here you can see from monday to friday we have 9 a.m to 5 p.m so 9 a.m to 5 p.m monday to friday and then on saturday that can be by appointment so we can just enable this and then we can click on continue button right here and once you will do that this kind of thing will appear now here you can see you have a lot many other options available so you can add redirection after a booking so if someone will book the form you can just toggle this option and then you can create a thank you page and you can add the url of that page here i'm not going to do that so i'll just disable this option from here if you want you can also enable the landing pages so click on this edit button and here for the slug it says 30 minutes so let's just change it to free consultation ccr and name it as consultation or ccr booking form something like that and then click on save changes and once you will do that the next thing here you will notice you have all of these tabs first of all you have this availability tab so in the availability tab you have all the option to set up the availability we already have set up these options now here if you want you can add the availability range so invitees can schedule within future 60 days within a date range or indefinitely into the future so i'm going to choose indefinitely into the future so his customer can schedule anytime in the future now next up we have this limits option is there any buffer time 
time or anything like that no buffer time in the beginning or we can add 10 minute as a buffer time before the event and 10 minute as a buffer time after the event and then minimum notice four hours ago or two hours ago you can set the time here time slots interval for now i want to give it a gap of 15 minutes so that they can adjust the buffer time here then limit booking frequency if you want to limit the booking frequency you can do it here if you also want to limit the booking duration you can limit it here and if you want to lock the time zone on booking page you can just lock it by enabling this option and then from here you can choose utc or america any state that you want it will lock the time zone here then after that you have this option so that attendees can cancel the booking or they can reschedule if you want you can keep them on or if you want you can just toggle that off and then click on save changes and then this has been configured next up you have this question setting so here you can define the question that you would like to ask from the customers or from the client prior to their booking so once you will click here here you can define the question i think by default they have name email and what is this meeting about that is like the subject of the meeting and i think i can add one more question here and that is going to be the phone number so i'll select phone and here i'll label it as phone number and i'll mark this as required and here you can see this is added i can just move it up right here and for this thing right here i can just click on this edit button and then i can change it to subject and if you want you can add the placeholder here so i'll keep it as subject and then i'll click on this save changes and this has been saved you can add as many questions as you want that is completely up to you and then click on save changes so after that you have this email notification so click on this email notification and by default you have all of these options enabled so in order to configure those click on this edit and here you can see it says your event has been scheduled change the your event to your consultation has been scheduled and here the event name by default is it is coming through the short code everything else is good right here so you don't have to worry about it at the last i disabled the cancel so i'll just remove the cancel part from here and then i'll just click on this save menu now i want to do the same thing a new consultation instead of event i'll just type in consultation and then after that you can scroll all the way down and then you can click on save and then in here i click on edit this one looks fine booking cancellation and this one also looks fine this is also fine and at the last this is also looking fine so just click on save changes and also if you want to change the email subject you can change the email subject right here that is completely up to you next up you have sms notification if you want to enable the sms notification you will require that to allow integration for that you can just click on here and here you will have to provide the sms number it can be a whatsapp number but it will go right here and then you need account sid and oath token for that you can also read about the documentation right here and if you will click on documentation here you can see it provides all the documentation you can go through all of these things by yourself so now we'll have to just go back next up you have this payment settings if you want to integrate the payment gateway you will first have to integrate the stripe and if you want to use the woocommerce you have that availability as well next up you have this webhook feeds we are not going to use that and then at the last you have this integration but integration works only if you have fluent crm i'm not using the fluent crm so that is why it is not required so now if i click on this calendar here you can see this is how it is looking now for the host setting i'll click on this host setting and then we can change the avatar so in order to change the avatar i'll click on the image and then i'll choose the logo and then i'll click on this insert and here you can see our logo is showing up right here and here is host name and here we can type in contact team or support team or you can type in anything or maybe i'll just type in their website name web power side llc you can type in anything that is completely up to you and then in here you will have to provide the host phone number so i already have a phone number right here i'll just copy the phone number and i'll paste the phone number here and if you want you can create the about thing here and then just click on save settings and that's it and if you want you can also enable the remote calendars here for that you will just click on connect with google calendar or meet and it will open a new tab right here you can go through all of these options so i am back here now in order to embed this on web pages what you can do is to click on this share button now you have multiple options so there you can see we have three different options for the embed you can either use this short code or you can use the landing page that we enabled or you can use a gutenberg blog so in order to use the short code what you can do is to copy the short code and here i'll just go to the post just to show you how this works i'll 
click on add new post and then from here you can click on this plus and you can search for short code here is the short code widget just paste in your short code i'll go back and copy the short code again and i'll just paste the short code here and then that's it now click publish here and once it will get published you can just click on view post and if you will view there you can see this is how it is looking so this is one way another way is that you can use a gutenberg block so let's just remove this thing from here and now i'll just click on this plus and then you will have to search for this fluent booking and here it will ask you to select the event so i'll select this event that we have created and there you can see this has already been rendered if i'll click on this update button you can see this has been updated now i can click on this view post and here you can see this is how it is looking you can select the date and then choose the time and then click on this next button and then in here provide in your information and then they can schedule the meeting that is one way now what i actually want to do is to remove this post because i don't actually want to use it in this way because i have the button and i want to connect those buttons with the booking so i'll go back here and here you can see under the landing page here you have a certain url if you want you can click on this view button and if you click on this view button you can see we have this landing page that only contains the booking form and the details that booking form require so i'll choose this time and if you click next here they can provide in their information so i'll go back and i'll just copy this url from here and here i want to embed this into these forms so we are looking at free consultation ccr i'll copy the url and then i'll go back and right here this is the free consultation ccr i'll just insert the url right here and then i'll click update now i also have created these two forms here so i'll quickly copy the url for this form and this is for pre litigation here is the pre litigation and i'll insert the form right here and then last one we have this diy credit repair i'll click on this share and then the landing page and i'll copy the url and then i'll insert the url right here in the button and then i'll click update now that we have inserted these buttons we can actually test them so i'll go to the front page of our website and then we can actually scroll down and here we have embedded those so what i can do is to click on this view now uh, this book now and this book now and this book now and here you can see they are showing free consultation ccr pre litigation credit and diy credit repair so here let's just test this out choose a date choose a time then click next fill in these details type in a phone number and then fill in the subject i'll just choose test and here it is saying me to provide a valid phone number so i'll have to provide a valid phone number here i have added a number so let's just try clicking on this schedule meeting and here you can see it says your meeting has been scheduled and here free consultation when this is the time and here who have filled out the details and we are this is going to be the online meeting and here you can see we have this join meeting so if they click on this join meeting you can see this opens the google meet link that we have embedded and then there is the phone number now let's just look at this in the wordpress dashboard so i'll go to the dashboard of the website and here is the fluent booking you can click on this dashboard and here you will see all the details so it says total booking we have one booking right here and if you want to look at the booking details you can click on this bookings and here are the booking details you can click on this view booking and here here you can see the booking url the status that it is scheduled the location meeting host meeting title and everything that you require so in this way you can actually create the booking calendar for any kind of services or any kind of thing that you want using the wordpress i hope you find this video useful if you find this video useful be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates if you have any questions drop them in the comment section i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can thank you very much i'll see you in the next video video.